Good morning, everyone in America and all over the world. Uh, welcome to our morning devotion today. Now, to start our day, let us please offer a bow to our heavenly parents and true parents. Chonji and Champo Nimke, Kimbe. Hello. Thank you. Now, I'd like to invite uh, Brother Milhan to lead us into our family pledge. Kajang Meng Se, Il, Chanil Guk Juin. 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 본향 땅을 찾아 본연의 창조 이상인 지상 천국과 천상 천국을 창건할 것을 맹세하나이다. 이 천여극 주인 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님을 모시어 천주의 대표적 가정이 되며 중심적 가정이 되어. 가정에서는 효자, 국가에서는 중심, 세계에서는 성인, 천주에서는 성자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 황족권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 장조 이상인 천주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통일과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 5. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 매일 주체적 천상세계와 대상적 지상 세계의 통일을 향해 전진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 6. 천여극 주인, <웃음> 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님의 대신 가정으로서 천운을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. <웃음> 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 본연의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심정문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 천여극 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체 이상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Thank you so much, Brother Milhan. Now I'd like to invite Uncle Noah Ross to start with the prayer for this morning. Please unmute yourself. Good morning, our loving Heavenly Parent. Heavenly Parent, we're grateful to gather together this morning to greet you in this new day, to invite your Holy Spirit to move our hearts, to commune and spend time with you, Father, heart to heart, to know your, <clears throat> your truth, your ideal, and our true parents. We want to thank you so much to be alive and to be together this day to comfort you and to share your word of our true parents together. It's such a special day. We thank you for all the inspiration you give us. And we pray that as brothers and sisters, your spirit can save this nation. Please, Father, accept our junk song this morning. We pray that you will be with us. Speak through our beloved brother, Dr. Young. Help us to know more of your heart and your purpose. Especially we pray this morning for our true parents. Please be with our true father and mother, especially our true mother as she carries the providence on her shoulders, sometimes in a lonely way. Please give her strength and courage this day. We're grateful to be together. Strengthen us, heal us, nourish us, and guide us. We're thankful and we offer this day in the deepest gratitude. In our names is blessed families, and my name Noah Ross of Blessed Central Family. Amen and adieu. <clears throat> Adieu. Thank you for that beautiful prayer. And now it's time to go into our breakout rooms and share our gratitudes for this morning.
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sharing your gratitude for this morning. Uh, now I'd like to invite on Caroline Hansen, if you can share your gratitude for this morning. Please unmute yourself. Thank you, Diane. I had a little bit of feeling. I was scared when I saw you that you would choose me. <laughs> but anyway, I am grateful for so many things and it's very difficult every day to pick out things. But I'm grateful that I can be more mindful, mindful of God um, in my daily life and have give and take with that. And through that, I'm realizing so many things about my shortcomings, even my shortcomings in the past, even though if I did things um, not intentionally doing them wrong or but I'm realizing the things that I did based on my immaturity. So I'm very grateful to God. I'm very grateful to Reverend Young because every day I feel like little by little, God is filtering things of my mind. Of Yes, I'm very grateful for that. And, and then I'm grateful for brothers and sisters who pray. I'm, I'm so grateful for people who are so comfortable with language and the prayers are just always so beautiful so unfortunately during the prayer i find myself writing down some things people say because they're so beautiful so thank you everybody wow. for everything have a wonderful day yeah thank you caroline hansen thank you so much actually you know when i when I delivering the God's heart every day, you know, I really, really reflect on myself that we are like a baby learning, learning what the basic faith, you know, we are learning what is my God's heart, what is the, our, you know, parental heart, Really, we are learning from, you know, seriously about a basic one. So I'm, I am really grateful our all the American brothers and sisters participating together. We are learning what is our parental heart, what is our God's wish. So let's work together continuously. Thank you so much, Caroline Hansen. Yeah, thank you so much, Aunt Caroline. Uh, now I'd like to invite Connor, Connor Redman to share your gratitude for this morning. Please unmute yourself. Hi, good morning. Um, wow, that, that's a surprise. I wasn't even in your breakout room, Diane. <laughs> um, yeah, good morning. Uh, yeah, this morning, I'm really appreciative of reading, I had said. Um, yeah, almost my whole life is like reading now, uh, for school, always reading my textbooks. Um, but also so I'm trying to really build the habit again is reading God's words. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm not the only one, but when morning devotion started, uh, I was like, ah, you know, that's my, that's my window key today. I I'm okay. I don't need to read God's words again. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've really been noticing like uh, a lacking. And so I'm really starting to build up the habit of reading God's words again. So wow. reading Mother's memoir. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, trying to yeah, connect to True Mother more through God's words. Mm. And also through other books I enjoy that I feel are really yeah, principled or that I can go God through. Mm. So like I'm reading The Alchemist. And it's a really beautiful book because it's all about pursuing your dreams, um, which is something that wow. I, I think we all try to do. So, yeah, that's one of my graduate points for today. Yeah. Our all second generation, like, uh, like you, our corner, uh, Raymond, and the love got you, and the love through mother's autobiography. How great it is. That's why your face is so fresh and so handsome, so bright. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Connor. Uh, so now uh, it's time 
to invite our Dr. Young for our internal guidance. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Buenos dias. Buongiorno. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sawadikap. Namaste. My dear brothers and sisters, Annyeonghasemnika. This morning for me is a very, very fresh. I'm so happy to see each one of the my brothers and sisters. Yesterday I talked about become a true person who cares for heavenly parents. What is the first thing we need to do to become a filial child of heavenly parents? Father said, first, you need to have a deep experience and care of God's sorrowful heart. Next, you need to have a deep experience and care of Jesus' sorrowful heart. And you need to have a deep experience and care of true parents' sorrowful heart. If you have that kind of the sorrowful heart, if you have that kind of the experience of the, you know, God's heart, then Father mentioned very clearly that the starting point of the shojang. Shojang begins with caring and experiencing God's heart. When you have that kind of the God's sort of heart, and then always oh, worry about God, you try to be responsible for God. You try to responsible our true parents sort of heart. You try to comfort and console and Jesus heart and then make up your mind to do go forward. Then Father said, you are alive again. From that kind of the experiencing and caring, you know, God and the true parents and Jesus sorrow. Today, I'd like to talk about the person who endlessly cries for heaven, heaven will have eternal growth. Wow. This title really, you know, reflect on me so many things and giving me incredible <clears throat> inspiration and idea. The person who endlessly cries for heaven will have eternal growth. As a child, as a filial son and daughters, always cry for God. I really try to comfort him, console him. As a son, as a filial piety, you are already cultivating that kind of the heart. I I really completely want to live for God. The more I think, the more I feel sorrowful about God's situation. As a child, day and night thinking about God's sorrow. How can I liberate him? How can I comfort him? How can I do something for him? As a child, and lastly, cry for heaven's will. Father said, this is the way you can grow eternally. You can become mature. How can I become mature guy? You think about, you think about God. Worry about God. Responsible for his portion of responsibility. As a child, I try to help him. If you have that kind of mindset and attitude, 
your spiritual life will become mature and mature and growing and growing. If you just only think about your own self, then always complain. Always no satisfaction. Always feel something lacking. Wow. When filial son and daughters focus on God's sorrow. Until I die, until more of death, how can I help him? How can I comfort him? Because he is my daddy. Because he care of me until now. He is putting so much jamsung for me as a child, as a filial son. How can I do something for him? And then determine, I give my life. I can do anything at risk of my life. If you have that kind of heart, and then endlessly cries out for God's heart, Father said, you will grow, you know, limitlessly. And then as a child do like that, your heart, heart, your heart is really cultivating. Your impurity cannot invade you. Satan cannot invade you because you cry for her, cry for your parents. Cry for heaven. How can Satan invade you, invade you and attack you? No. That's why our fallen nature, how to sanctify, how to sanctify by tears. Only sanctify my fallen nature, my complaint, complain, my dissatisfaction, only can sanctify through tears. Tears. Ja, let's read the Father's word. Heavenly honey. The person who endlessly cries for heaven will have eternal growth. Christianity is a religion of tears. Therefore, when deeply experiencing God's true heart, it is not possible to look at the people, nation, and world without tears. Humanity has to stand in such a position, and yet it is not moved to shed tears. Furthermore, it is shameless and acts rashly in front of heaven. Even true intimate friendship in the secular world is based on the condition of tears. How can fallen humanity deeply experience the heart of heaven without shedding tears? Continue. Therefore, you must have the experience of shedding uncontrollable tears while believing in Jesus as you recognize that you are a criminal. At that point, you will feel you have nowhere to place your body and that you deserve to be punished a thousand, even tens of thousands of times. Unable to lift your head in front of heaven, you feel ashamed, holding down your face as there is no place for you. You must become a person who truly laments through tears. 
Otherwise, your path as an individual will be blocked. And you must become a family upholding God's will. Otherwise, your path as a family will also be blocked. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. <coughs> the person who endlessly cries for heaven will have eternal growth. Father said, Christianity is a religion of tears. Why? Because Christianity is the main religion of God's providence. It has been through the course of history of tears. Since Jesus died, you know, our ancestor of the Christianity, how much they sacrifice. Lions eat them. How much they receive the persecution? How many missionaries become a martyr and killed by Satan here and there? That's why Father said, Christianity is a religion of tears. Religion of tears means what? Sacrifice. Incredibly sacrifice. That's why when we know about the history of Christianity, there's a history of tears. In order to build our nation of America, our ancestors, they came to America. How much it paid the price? How much he, you know, sacrificed? How much they shed tears? You know, to expand the foundation of the foundation of Christianity over all over the world. So many leaders and peoples and missionaries become uh, martyrs. That's why Father said, Christianity is a religion of tears. Not only Christianity, throughout the human history, our ancestors, central figures, how much they go through incredible, unimaginable sacrifice. Even our unification movement, you look at father's life, you look at true mother's life, you look at our church history. When father uh, initiated, you know, our, uh, our the, the true father's ministry directly, so anyone joining the uh, morning devotion and the Sunday service, and once father started to pray, everybody cry loudly, so bitterly. That's why our church name is what? Our church nickname is the Crying Church. Crying Church. And then someone received the revelation that, you know, she is waiting for the second coming. She got a she got a revelation from heaven. Already, second coming is in Korea, South Korea. And then one day she received a revelation that how can you find the second coming? Someday you can hear that is is there the nickname is the crying church. You go there. Definitely, you find the second coming. And then she one day hear that the news from her friend. You know, that church name is a crying church. And then she finally came to Chongpadong and met her father. Oh my God. God's providence is really amazing. Why would we, why would we shed, why we need to shed tears? That is God's reality. That is God's current situation. If you lost your children, do you feel your heart is comfortable? 
Do you think I have the positive mind? I need to have always, always absolute affirmation. Think, oh, I am happy, I am happy, I am happy. Remind yourself without caring about God's heart. God, cry for me. Last 6,000 years. We are just only talking about God's sort of heart. Just only a few months. That's why I try to remind myself. I try to remind you continuously. Until we liberate God's heart. Fallen men forget so easily. Isn't it? Very easily forget. That's why remind again and again and again and again until you can feel it. Until you can ever experience it. When deeply experiencing God's true heart, it is not possible to look at the people, nation, and world without tears. God is like that. True parent is like that. You know? The trace of God's tears remained everywhere. Everywhere there is a trace of God's tears. In each tree, in each item of the all things, in each person, in each group, in each nation, in each any anywhere, there are trace of God's tears everywhere. God raging on me until now through his tears and tongues, of, even though I do not notice how much he cried for me. How much he sacrificed for me, even though I do not notice. Even though somebody is a bad guy, like he's a murderer, he's, he's, he's how much a terrible guy he is, she is, but God's nature cannot give up any human being because he or she is child of God. That's why, Father, when he sees the ocean, the ocean water is accumulated, God's tears. When, you see, when he sees the river, the river water flowing down, God's tears is flowing. You know, that was a father's understanding. Can you imagine the ocean water? I think God's tears more than that. Since Adam and Eve fall, his tears more, more larger or bigger than ocean water. Oh my God. He's Almighty God. How come he becomes such a, uh, you know, miserable guy? How can God become like that? Who knows you are such a reality? How much terrible you are after you lost everything. You lost the pillar of the sun and daughter. You lost your own house, your own property. You lost your own sovereignty. You lost everything. What kind of person you are, heavenly parents? And then they and I crying and crying. They, they kill each other, they hate each other, and there are national boundaries, uh, uh, racial boundaries, and then all 
kind of the boundaries and fighting each other, killing each other. Such a miserable situation every second, every moment, every day, throughout the 6,000 years of history, when Heavenly Father looked at this kind of situation, he, if he's the parent of the humankind, do you think he is happy? He is really happy, God? The individual should be the individual of tears, Father said. The family should be the family of tears. And the nation should be the nation of tears. Hmm? Until I become perfect being, until I become really filial son of others, how much Heavenly Father need to cry? Until my family become ideal family, how much Heavenly Father need to pay the price? Until find out one nation, until establishing one channel group, how much Heavenly Father need to cry out? How much he need to pay the price? Oh my God! What kind of person you are, heavenly parents? You are really almighty God. You are really omniscient God. You are the one who really created suns and moons and uh, stars and you know, ocean. How come you become such a miserable, miserable being, heavenly parents? What is a filial child? He or she is a person who always shedding tears for his or his or her parents. Patriots are those who are shed tears for the nation. Saints are those who are shed tears for mankind. And says shed tears for heaven. What is your level of tears? What is your level of tears? Just only cry for your own self? Have you ever cried for your own physical father and mother because I miss them? I long for them? I really appreciate them, appreciate them, that's why. Have you ever cried for your own parents? If you, if you did, you are filial sons and daughters. Have you ever cried for your nation? Truly? When you look at America situation, political situation, you know, miserable situation, even one time, have you ever cried the nation of America or Canada? Never. Your level of tears is not level of patriot. Patriot means really, really worry for my nation and cry for nation, non-stopping tears. Just look at my people, look at miserable situation of the, my nation, and just tears come down. His level of tears, level of the patriot. Patriot means cry for nation. And who is the saint and sages cry for all mankind, not just only for America or Canada, for the sake of the world. Many people die because of starvation, no food, miserable, no place to sleep. Have you ever cried for all mankind? And who is the divine sons and daughters? Have you ever cried for God? Have you ever cried even for your ancestors? Oh my God, what is my level of my tears? 
Just only cry for me. You are self-centered. What kind of a level of my tears do I have? My tears are flowing down and can, can, can cover the whole entire nation. You are petitioned. Your tears they come down and they can cover all mankind. You are saint. Your tears are coming down and cover even God's heart, even God cry. You are divine son or divine daughter. What kind of level tears do you have? Have you ever shed tears for the nation and all? My character is measured according to the level of my tears. Fallen man. What is the fallen man? No tears. No emotion. No heart. No mercy. Cannot forgive my enemy. Cannot love my enemy. Heart is so narrow. How to sanctify my fallen nature? You know, to sanctify my fallen nature, only one way. Through God's tears. Through God's tears. Father said, who is a dangerous guy as a minister? Never ever cry for each one of the members. You are dangerous minister. You kill your king. You kill your member. As a minister, as a pastor, always pray for a member. Cry for a member. Father said, you never church, your, your church never decline, never perish. I learned from Father like that. If we are not moved to shed tears, it is easy for us to be shameless and act uh, rashly in front of heaven. As a fallen man, you don't have tears, easily become self-centered, easily become arrogant. Those who are arrogant, Never, never, never have tears. However, the more you know God, the more you know Jesus' heart, the more you know true Father's suffering, always tears and become so humble, always reflect, I am a sinner of the sinner. I am a criminal of the criminal. Even true intimate friendship in the secular world is based on the condition of tears. Even though do not know God, do not know true parents, do not know divine principle, but how they have the intimate friendship and relationship centering on tears. How can fallen humanity deeply experience the heart of heaven without shedding tears? We cannot go even one more step without tears. That I really respect true parents. True parents teach me, teach you, God's tears. Teach us the situation of God's sorrowful heart. That's why father, mother, greatest teachers, greatest, no one introduced God's sort of situation. You need to have the experience of shedding uncontrollable tears while believing in Jesus. As you recognize that you are a criminal, do not blame Israel people, do not blame, but do not blame the Roman soldiers. As long as I carry on fallen nature, I am the one who can, can kill Jesus, same as Roman soldiers. 
As long as I carry on fallen nature, I can complain to Jesus. I can kill Jesus. I can become murderer like Roman soldiers. Roman soldier representative of my fallen nature. That's why father said, you need to think, I am the one who killed my father Jesus. You need to think, I am the one who betrayed Jesus. I am the one, like three disciples, never noticed Jesus' sorrowful heart. If you think like that, if you repent like that, you can cultivate your heart. Even if you sit in front of heaven without raising your hat, you should be able to feel the uh, embarrassment of not being able to hold your position. That's why. No need to blame Roman soldiers. No need to blame Israel people. You know, no need to blame those who follow the Moses cause. No need to blame about Cain, why he killed Abel. I am the one who inherited that kind of Satan's DNA. Anytime can betray, anytime can run away, anytime really can kill my own father, own mother, Heavenly Father. I am a sinner of the sinner. I am a criminal of criminals. I deserve to go to the hell of the hell. I am the one such kind of person. Why should I do? I have any heart. I don't want to repeat the same problem as my ancestors. Let me experience who you are. Let me experience your heart. I really want to be a true son or a true daughter. I really want to be a filial son and daughter's heavenly father. Let me understand your heart, heavenly father. Until now, I did not know since I joined Unification Church 10 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Still, I do not know, I do not know your heart, heavenly father. I am still immature guy, heavenly father. Heavenly Father, let me cultivate my heart from fallen heart to God's heart. And then truly understand your heart. I want to build up the relationship, parents and child, Heavenly Father. I don't want to, I don't want to leave from you anymore. I don't want to hold to you anymore, Heavenly Father. You must become a person who truly, truly laments through tears. Heavenly Father, I could not become yet filial sons and daughters. I could not understand yet Jesus' heart. How much he paid the price for me? He died. My father, Jesus, died for me. I am the one who killed him. I still do not know through parents' heart, Heavenly Father, really immature guy. When I can, when can I become mature guy and understand God's heart? And then I can see the tears for my nation and for all mankind. When can I be like that, Heavenly Parents? That's why Father say here, those who shed uncontrollable tears for heaven develop infinitely. Tears are gross. Gross. Where there is a tears, there is a gross. Spiritual gross. How can grow by spiritual body? Through tears through experiencing God's tears. Huh? The more I cry for the sake of God, 
the more I can grow. That's why, you know, without tears, there's no way to grow up, no way to become mature, no way to become filial sons and daughters. Otherwise, your past as an individual will be blocked. And you must become a family upholding God's will and care for God's heart. Otherwise, your past as a family will also be blocked. If entire my family members cry for God, cry for true parents, care for true parents will, that kind of blessed family never perish. I'd like to invite again our Heavenly Honey to read the last slide. Unity through suffering for goodness. The more sorrow fallen human beings living on this earth experience, the more divided they become. When you are sorrowful, centered on yourself, then division, the nature of evil people, will occur. When being sorrowful for the sake of others, the divided things unite. Thus, the divided mind and body unite, becoming the point of unison for heaven. Then why is it inevitable that we must pass through a wretched course? It is because of the human fall. Due to the human fall, we lost the ability to love with God's love in the ideal garden, bringing God never-ending grief instead. That is to say, because human beings brought the most heartbreaking pain to God, it became inevitable that we must pass through such a course of twists and turns. Thank you, honey. Unity through suffering for goodness. The more sorrow fallen human beings living on this earth experience, the more divided they become. Because fallen men just only cry for themselves. That's why, just cry for yourself. If we, if, if, if there are that kind of category people, then divide more and more. When you're crying, centering on yourself, things will be increasingly divided. When you are sorrowful, centering on yourself, division, which is the nature of the uh, weak and is formed. We become one when we cry together, centering on God's sorrowful heart. We are focused on God, focus on our fundamental parents. Everybody as a children focus on God's heart, focus on God's sorrowful heart. Automatically, we can make the unity. The body and mind become one, the couple becomes one, and Cain and Abel become one, automatically become one when we cry together, centering on God's sorrowful heart. Why is it inevitable that we must pass through a wretched course? It is because we brought God never-ending grief due to the human fall. In other words, because human beings brought the most heartbreaking pain to God, it became inevitable that we must pass through such a course, twists and turns. Oh, my brothers and sisters, our life of faith begins from when we know our God's parental heart. If we do not know God's parental heart, if we do not know His reality of His tears, 
there is no way to grow up. No way to become macho guy. No way to become filial sons and daughters. When as a child care of his parents and your heart growing and growing day by day. Day by day, your heart is really cultivating. How to cultivate my heart? When I, when I cry for my parents, cultivating my heart through my tears. There's no tears, then there's no way to cultivating our heart. Let's more understand God's heart. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Young. Thank you for your guidance for this morning and internal, uh, yeah, search of food for this morning. I'm speechless today. <laughs> Usually I say something, but I think when Dr. Young speaks, it's not just him, but it's also God and true parents speaking through him. So thank you for letting God and true parents use you uh, for that. Um, so yeah, so now it's time to go into our breakout rooms and share. If you're at home, please share with your family and reflect uh, at this time. Thank you.
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sharing your reflection for today. Wow, my breakout room was very um, heartfelt. It was, yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to invite them so they can share. <laughs> I wanted to invite Uncle Stephen and his wife on. Hi, good morning, good morning, everybody. <laughs> Uh, Stephen Connie! <laughs> Hi, Dr. Young. Connie, are you still alive? Yeah. Oh, Dr. Young, come on. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a teacher, so oh. I, I have to teach in the morning, so. I see. How come you survive without me? How come what? How can you survive without me? You I, living listen. together with me in the Philippines. Listen, I listen to you every single morning. I hear your voice all morning long. Come all on. All the time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you share? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Oh, Go I don't know what to say, Dr. Young. I, um, I'm just so thankful that I'm still alive. Mm. I mean, that's something. Some Because I've gone through some, you know, terrible health issues up and down like crazy. But... Basically, I always do feel my angels with me. I feel uh -huh. my spiritual guides. Uh -huh. You know that in the Philippines. You yeah. know that I, I could feel them with me, right? Yeah. And I still do. Hmm. And uh, that gives me the strength to keep going forward because I know they're with me, guiding me. I mean, all of a sudden, something nice will happen and something good. And I went, whoa, you know, thank you very much. You're helping me. And so I do feel a lot of support. Mm. It's just that I, you know, the sorrow that's that's kind of lodged in my soul, mm. that doesn't get, that doesn't go away. Mm. I see. I you know, see. it's always there. And, and I'm thinking, you know, like when you see the bleeding heart of Jesus mm. and you see the, you, you can experience the bleeding heart of two parents, you say, well, that's just what God wants you to carry. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, I see. So that's what we're all, all of us are carrying that. Mm, wow, good. Yeah. Okay, Stephen. Yeah, Dr. Young, we know, you know, it's, it's always such an incredible challenge to interpret life from God's viewpoint, to see mm -hmm. how God sees things. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I think that this trying to grasp, trying to grab a hold of God's heart yeah is, is what we're trying to do we're trying to reinterpret how we live our life instead of just thinking it's me it's me it's me it's it's this god this is yeah. how god feels mm. when we see tragedy when we feel uh isolated or uh, uh, separated from others from our children whatever this is god this is how god feels yeah it's really uh really diving into God's heart is the most difficult thing, honestly, because it's, it is tragic, but we have to feel that to move forward as well. So it's a I combination, really, such yeah. a combination. I Thank really, you. I can feel your heart now. I can feel your heart. Thank you so much, yeah. Stephen. I have, I have the same head, same heart as you. Thank you so much for your beautiful sharing. Kamsamida Kony, thank you. Kamsamida. Uh, one day we'll sing a song for you, Dr. Young. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank God you, Uncle Stephen and Aunt Kony. That was beautiful. Uh, wow. I'm actually, I'm going to share my reflection for this morning. Um, yeah. Wow. I am... You know, I feel with this content being uh, being a second gen, sometimes it's hard to feel God's sorrowful heart, right? Because we have so much pressure and we feel like, oh, why do we have to feel God's sorrowful heart? Why can't we just feel the joy, right? Um, <clears throat> but honestly, I feel like with my own experience, I the moment that I was able to really shed tears and tell God that I will go through anything for you. Wow. And that I care for you, mm. not just as a powerful God, but as my father. Yeah. Um, man, it changed everything around me. Yeah. That's and, true. you know, 
even people around me, you know, like, oh man, when I go to school, some people would ask me like random questions. Like I'm just walking around and they're asking me, you know, like questions about God. And I feel like the reason why, you know, people feel so much love and they felt like, you know, even my friends, they always ask me, what is it about you? You know, I feel that it's because I was finally, I let my guards down and I, I really brought God into my heart. Mm. And even like when Dr. Young was saying, he's like, you know, you're, when you experience God's heart, you can even share so much, shed so much tears for the world. And I've, you know, felt that at that moment when I prayed so much and I, I had, I've had, I had this book, um, when aunt at church, she gave it to me. It's basically a prayer where you, you know, you pray and, uh, you're, um, yeah, you're basically reading and praying at the same time. And wow. I not only, I didn't just feel God's heart, but it's like this sorrow and just, you know, deep love for humanity. And it's yeah. just like, yeah, wow, so overwhelming. And yeah. oh, man, and now even when I go to nature, I just look at the water and I start crying. It's like, you know, mm. God invested so much in us and things around us. Even nature is for us. And anyways, um, when I talk about God, I start crying. But anyways, I think my point is that uh, we shouldn't complain about hearing God's sorrowful heart because mm. it's something that's <laughs> inevitable, but then it's also needed. Mm. If I didn't experience God's heart, I don't think I would be able to love people the way yeah. that I love them or yeah. Correct. experience the things that I've experienced or even grow the way that I've grown all these years. Yeah. So to all my young people, I know it's hard, but yeah. <laughs> it's the best thing in the world because it keeps you moving. It keeps you going. So um, anyways, that's Thank right. you, Diane. I think today your final day as an MC job. You finish your MC job with your incredible God's tears. Thank you so much, Diane. You did wonderful and great job. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Young. Yes, today is my last day. Um, tomorrow we'll be having a Yasutaka Ozawa to uh, MC for our morning devotion. So please give him love as well. And uh, thank you so much for the love that I've you. you've given me all this time. Mm. And, you know, as always, we have also our donation link in the chat. So please feel free to donate whatever you can. If you're on Facebook, we have the link below. So please uh, offer your heart and your donation. Diane, you do not forget, even though you leave MC Japa, you need to offer or the or often your song. I I will. Okay. <laughs> I will, Dr. Young, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes. So speaking of musical offering, today uh, our musical offering will be given by Aunt Barbara Mosley. Hmm. So please unmute yourself and share your offering with us. Good morning, family. I hope, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I hope I can do this song just very young and it strengthened my conviction that there is uh, the divine spark in everyone through which uh, they can be connected to our heavenly parent. I was told one time that father went to Las Vegas and he was gambling in a casino and members uh, and he was winning and members asked him father why stop now you're winning and father explained his purpose was not to go to gamble uh, to win but to leave a thread through which the people in that realm can connect to heaven so the song is entitled i believe 
And then when I came to America, I learned another vo- uh, verse that our members added. And it's, it's, uh, it says, we believe that we can build an ideal world. So um, I'm going to offer this song. Please ignore me and, uh, and hear the lyrics of the song. <clears throat> I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe that for everyone who goes astray, someone will come to show. I believe that above the storm, the smallest prayer will still be heard. I believe that someone in that great somewhere hears every word. Every time I hear a newborn baby cry or touch a leaf or see. And here's the voice of our members added. We believe that we can build an ideal world, though some of us are not so young. We believe that underneath our differences, we all are one. Every time we look into each other's eyes, we realize that love abides. We believe, we believe. I believe that above the storm, the smallest prayer will still be heard. I believe that someone in that great somewhere hears every word. Every time I hear a newborn baby cry or touch a leaf or see the sky, then I know why I believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Great. Thank you. So amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your offering on um, Barbara. That was amazing. Thank you for offering that song. And now I'd like to invite uh, Aunt Emgard, if you can close us up with prayer today. Me? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Do you have any parent? Thank you. Thank you so much for your love you have for everyone in the world, in the past and in the future. Thank you so very much for our two parents um, teaching us and uh, pleading with us giving example, giving love, telling beautiful stories, um, sharing your heart and your tears with us so that we can connect to our heavenly parent. And you, our true parents taught us so much about our, our um, Jesus Christ. And we are so grateful to Dr. Young of um, bringing us together as truly one family through this format we can really connect so deeply in heart where do we experience a sister who sings like that and then adds a verse out of her heart and she has such a beautiful voice thank you so much for barbara 
And let us uh, carry this feeling we have now throughout the day and bring it to the people we meet. And we are so grateful that we can start out the, the, your holy communities, Heavenly Parent. Thank you to Mother for initiating it. And we want to inherit from your beautiful heart and from your deep heart and going on, even though you carry it already so much and you are such a trailblazer for us women and mothers. Thank you so much. And yes, thank you everyone who comes on and who listens. We are all united. Thank you so very much, dear Heavenly Parent. And I pray this in our names and in my name, Tindle and Yamgad Baines, as a blessed center family, Aju. Aju, thank you so much for your heartfelt prayer. Kamsamnida. Thank you. Kamsamnida. <laughs> Thank you so much. And with that, guys, thank you for joining family. Uh, and uh, please welcome the new MC tomorrow with love. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's end our winning devotion for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Wait there, everyone. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Diane.